Hey everyone, it's Tony with Hidden Light Photography, and today we're going to be learning what a histogram measures and how to read it. So if you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Now let's head on over and learn how to read a histogram. In my gain, offset, and noise series, I used a measuring cup to explain the concepts of gain and offset. And I'm going to use that same measuring cup again to explain what a histogram is and how to read it. Let's take a look at the measuring cup. Each increment or tick mark on the side of the measuring cup represents a unit of measurement within the cup. Every time we fill the cup, we can fill it up to a certain tick mark and therefore know exactly how much of our product we put into the measuring cup. Now, let's take a look at a blank histogram. We'll notice two lines, a vertical line and a horizontal line. A histogram is a way to measure two measurements at the same time. But what are these two measurements? I've mentioned in a few of my videos so far, don't overthink exposures. Just make sure your histogram curve is off the left wall. And I think it's important to understand what I mean and why it's important to expose until your histogram is off of the left wall. So let's dive in and find out exactly what I'm talking about in these videos. Let's look at the measuring cup and the blank histogram together. From my gain, offset, and noise series, we know that the histogram is a measurement of how full our pixels are. Just like this measuring cup allows us to know how much product we have when we place the product into the measuring cup. Let's adjust this picture really quick. Placing the measuring cup on its side, we can now see that the horizontal line of the histogram is a measurement of how full our pixels are, or how full the well capacity of our camera is. Notice the horizontal line of the blank histogram, and we see that it goes from 0% to 100%. The far left of the histogram represents our measuring cup being completely empty, and the far right of the histogram represents our measuring cup being completely full. And this measurement is usually in what's called ADU units. But what is this vertical line? Our cameras consist of a lot of pixels. In fact, some of them consist of tens of millions of pixels. Since we cannot efficiently view tens of millions of graphs showing how full each pixel is at the same time, we view a single graph called a histogram. And that histogram gives us two pieces of information. Those two pieces of information are how full our well capacity is, which is the horizontal line, and how many of our pixels are in that given well capacity. The vertical line represents how many pixels are within the shown well capacity. Here's what I mean by that. Let's take a look at the same histogram, but with some data in it. Let's take a look at the blue histogram peak. This is a measure of the blue channel of my ASI 585 MC camera with a given exposure. Starting on the left side of the blue histogram peak, we can see that 8,863 pixels within my 585 MC camera are 1.7% full, or contain 1,136 ADU units. If we go to the top of the peak, we have 654,081 pixels within my 585 MC camera, which are 2.2% full, or containing 1,415 ADU units. And finally, we go to the right side of the peak, and we have 5,318 pixels, which are 2.4% full, or containing 1,600 ADU units. As you can see, a histogram is measuring both how full our camera well depth is, the horizontal line, and how many of our camera's pixels contain the shown well depth measurement, the vertical line. And most histograms will show you different values, such as mean and min. The mean value representing the average ADU units collected across all of your pixels, and the min value being the minimum ADU units collected by a pixel. Now, why is it important to expose until our histogram peak is off of the left wall? The left wall represents emptiness. It represents zero value, and anything times zero 
is zero. Let's shift our histogram peaks to the left. Let's shift them so far left that the visible part of the blue peak doesn't start showing until around the 130,000 part of the vertical line. What does this mean? This means that the blue histogram peak is clipped. Since it's clipped on the 0% part of the horizontal line, meaning zero value or no data at all, we refer to this as black clip. The zero value or far left of the histogram is the black tone since it represents the darkest part of the image. Everything that is clipped on the left side of the blue histogram peak in this example will come across as pure black or zero value pixels. We've lost the data. This holds true for any histogram peak that follows this example. This is why it's important to expose until you're off of the left wall of the histogram. You can always use gain to assist in this if your mount is not capable of taking long enough exposures to achieve coming off of the left wall of the histogram. So I hope that you found this useful. If you did, do me a favor. That channel icon that popped up, hit that channel icon and subscribe. I don't want you to miss out on any valuable information. Drop a comment in the comment section. Did you learn anything new? Do you have any questions? And then check out that next video. Until the next time, clear skies.